What is up everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you how to make your own WebSocket server in Golang. We are going to make a simple, simple web chat application and after that we are going to make some kind of a feed where people can subscribe to and then you just uh, dump some real-time data into everyone that subscribed over the WebSockets uh, through the browser or, or, or other client. Before we continue, you know the drill, if you're not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing give me a thumbs up, leave some questions in the comment and jump into my Discord community. Let's go. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is what we always do, is basically make a type and there's gonna be a server. There's gonna be a structure. Uh, and we're gonna say, we're gonna actually gonna maintain uh, some connections, right? And that's gonna be a map of uh, pointers, web socket.connection and we're gonna say boo. There are a lot of ways you can do this. You could also make a map of strings, which is gonna be the remote adder of that connection to the pointer of the website connection. But hey, a lot of things, um, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna do it this way for now. So we're gonna have a, a, a map of connections because a lot of people are go, a lot of clients can basically connect, uh, subscribe to our WebSocket handler, and then we are going to send some data over it, right? <laughs> Very important is if I'm gonna save this, it's probably gonna use this Gorilla WebSocket. We are not gonna use Gorilla. We are gonna use uh, some standard library stuff. We're gonna say Golang, uh, let me delete this shenanigans. I think it's Golang net x, golang.org, let, let me see. It's gonna be golang.org, okay, cool. So I'm gonna use golang.org um, net it's xnet and the reason why i'm doing this is because it's uh this is a standard library ish package from golang itself but most of the time this will not be installed so you need to go get this uh baby you need to go get this baby real quick for you so golang org xnet websocket that's what we need that's what we're going to use uh of course gorilla and all these other websocket packages are much more in-depth but hey you don't need all that stuff it's very important to learn these things from scratch all right, so we have this thing. Then we're gonna say func new server uh, like this. It's gonna return a pointer to a server. We're gonna return, what's going on here? We're gonna return a server like this. And then we're gonna make the cons. We're gonna make this uh, into a map of pointer to websockets.com and bool, just like that, right? Cool. <clears throat> the next thing we need to do is make a handler, right? So we're gonna say s server. We're gonna say handle um, ws or something. And we're gonna make another. This is for the chat, and uh, we're gonna make another handler for our feed. Just after this, after this. So we're gonna say this needs to be a ws, and it's gonna be a pointer to a web socket.com. No error. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say println. You're gonna say a uh, new incoming connection uh, connection from client, right? And then we're gonna say this, and we're gonna put it put out um, the remote adder. What's going on here? A remote adder, just like that. All right. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna um, say as cons, right? Because you need to understand that each time. The client is going to connect uh, to to our handler. You will see uh, what is, how how is it going how that is going to happen. We're going to receive that connection, and then we're going to need to maintain. We need to keep track of that connection. So if we need to do a broadcast, uh, we need to use all these connected connections, and we need to write to them. Right? You're going to see um, how that's going to work. So we're going to say s cons ws is going to be true in this case, right? And you need to be careful because maps in Golang are not concurrent safe, so actually we should use some kind of a mutex. But for the sake of this demonstration, no, I'm not gonna do it. But hey, keep in mind, prediction stuff, you need to have a mutex um, to make sure we, yeah, don't have any race conditions or something. In this case, it's gonna be not always needed, but hey, just do it. So we have this uh, thing, and then we're gonna say as read loop, we're gonna make a read loop because what we're gonna do is for each connection, we're gonna basically read from. We're gonna listen to messages they sent uh, so we can react uh, and all that stuff if, if needed. So we're gonna do a read loop of this connection and we're gonna say, we're gonna make this function real quick. We're gonna say server, 
read loop ws pointer to web uh, sockets.com just like that we're gonna say for right because it's gonna be a loop then we're gonna say we're gonna make a buffer um, it's gonna be make me a slice of bytes what's going on a slice of bytes and we're gonna say 1024 in this case uh, just make it big enough <clears throat> then we're gonna say the bytes we read error is gonna be ws read into the buffer we just created and if there is an error you can choose what you do with this error actually you could say um, we're gonna just print it out for example print a len um, read error and then just dump in the error here and you could say continue right because you need to understand that if you return here or break or whatever you're gonna drop the connection and it's lost so you need to you need to make this decision for yourself can the client make some kind of a malformed uh, message or something or not, right? If he can, then you could just continue. Maybe he made a mistake or something, um, which is unlikely, but hey. Or you just drop the connection. It's, 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 your, it's your call. It's your shot. You're the Bob Ross of your painting. Uh, we are just going to continue. And you could also say something like if um, the error, no, SBC, yeah, if R is going to be equal to IO end of file, not close pipe, end of file. Then we're going to break here. Because uh, if you have an end of file, it basically means that the connection on the other side has just closed itself. Um, and if that's the case, it's going to be an end of file because this is the end of the file, right? And then we can just break it so we don't have any crazy loops going on. <coughs> so what we're going to say then is going to be the message is going to be basically uh, the buffer and uh, the bytes we actually read. So we don't actually print out the whole buffer. It could be that they just sent three bytes, so we are only gonna assign three bytes to the message, and then we're gonna say print ln uh, a string representation because we are humans of this um, message. And then what we also could do is basically, uh, in this case, it's not gonna be a chat. We're gonna make a chat real quick, but first I wanna show you this. Uh, we can just reply with something like uh, ws writes, and we need to write bytes. Uh, so we're gonna say thank uh thank you for the message that's what we're gonna write back <coughs> man getting a cold so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say uh, s or server is gonna be a new server then we're gonna say http handle and we need to specify an endpoint where they can connect to. So we're going to say slash ws. This is basically default stuff. But you're going to see for our feed, we're going to make something else. And then we're going to say uh, websocket. Um, I think it's handler. Handler. And that's going to be server.handlews. Uh, perfectly fine. And then we're going to say http listen and surf listen and let me type it out actually instead of pressing these type hints suggestions listen and serve to the holy gray grail of ports which is 3000 let me know what your holy grail of port is um back in the days i was using this one 1337 hey this one <laughs> remember hey all right <clears throat> so that's cool so all set up so we're going to test this real quick and then we're going to make um our, our chat real quick yeah, let's delete this. Uh, go run main.go. Boom. And then I have this. Um, look at this. How to zoom the dev tools, right? I was actually recording this video already, <laughs> but it was so small. So now I figured out how to um, zoom the dev tools for you. So uh, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say let's socket. And that's going to be. Uh, I already have it here, right? Uh, because I was testing this, but very small. And I thought, man, I need to zoom that in because otherwise the blind homies cannot see this. So we're going to say uh, you just do new WebSocket. And of course, if you're using uh, libraries or frameworks, they are going to do it in an other way. But this is just plain vanilla uh, JavaScript. So you, hey, if you know this, you can, you can do, if you can do any, you can do anything, right? You're going to say new uh, WebSocket. Then we need to specify uh, our URL is going to be WS slash slash local host 3000. Uh, and you can see I already did it because, but hey, with the smaller font, so I need to redo it. Yes, so we're going to connect to this endpoint we just created in our server. We're going to press enter. 
And then we're gonna say, we're gonna make some kind of a callback function for uh, when there is a message, it's gonna be on message, I think. On message, and that's gonna be, I think, event. And we're gonna do this, console log uh, received from the server, this, this, and then event data. We're gonna register that, and then we're gonna say socket sent. <clears throat> Uh, hello from client. What's going on here? Oh, what the help? Client like this. Boom. And you see, we send it to the server and the server responded with, with reserve, received from the server. Thank you for the message. And you could see here that there is a new incoming connection from the Chrome new dev tab page, whatever. Uh, and then hello from the client. And so that's work. So next thing we're going to do, multiple connections, broadcast uh, and make a simple chat. Um, yeah, cool. It's gonna be super easy, guys. Hey, like I said, I'm the builder of things. I make things simple. <clears throat> Actually, I won the Nobel Prize for simplification. All right, um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a simple function, and that's gonna be func s server uh, broad broadcast um, b gonna be a bunch of bytes just like that and we're gonna say for con for ws in a range or connections right you see that's why we need a map and then we're gonna say um, go we could do a go funk here we're gonna say ws we could actually do um if r double colon colon equal <laughs> is ws right this byte, and then the add is not nil. Classic goal and shenanigans. We're gonna, um, yeah, returning doesn't doesn't make sense, right? We're gonna say print println. So we're gonna just log this to our Grafana or something. Hey, I don't know, you tell me. The errors, right? We're gonna say write errors. Boom, boom, boom. No space here. WS write, what's going on here? Um. Does it actually return? Damn, I see what's going on here. Okay, no problem. It's gonna return how much bytes we written, but hey. Okay, and we need to say here, WS is gonna be pointer to a web, um, websocket, com, put in the WS here, and that's fine. All right, so this broadcast is very simple. We're gonna arrange over all the connections, and then we're gonna, boom, we're gonna just, Send uh, the bytes to all of them, right? So for the chat, we're gonna do this. Uh, this is our message we have. And each time somebody sends a message, we're gonna let everybody know that there is a new message. So we're gonna say... Broadcast. Actually, I was thinking maybe we should make a go, go broadcast here, but hey, we already did go here. Uh, broadcast the message. That's the only thing we're gonna do. It's it's that easy. And I'm actually thinking, should we make this, this, this a go function and then delete it here? Anyway, it doesn't matter, right? So, yeah, let's go run. Boom. So what we're gonna do here real quick is, first of all, we need to do re redo all this stuff. Let me open up a new thingy here, inspect, boom, that console. Like this. So I'm gonna connect here, uh, and we already typed this out, so we're gonna say, we're gonna connect here, and then we're also gonna connect here. Boom, right? So you see, we have two two uh, incoming, two connections in our map. We have the Chrome new tab page, and then we have this Google thingy, which is the Google thing, <laughs> Google page. Right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna register our on message. We're gonna say receive from the server. We press enter and we do the same thing here. Uh, that's nice that, 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 that there is a history across all these tabs. It's amazing. Boom. We're going to do that. And then we're going to basically say here, uh, for example, socket sent um, hello. Uh, ASL. <laughs> From <laughs> who's remembering this? ASL. It was back in my day for all the chats. And then um, the first thing we say, hey, what's your ASL? <laughs> It's a long time ago. I don't think uh, a lot of you guys will, under will understand what I'm talking about, but ASL stands for H 
sex and, and language or something. <laughs> um, yes, so we're going to send this boom. So, yeah, so you see, so we basically sent this message. Actually, to make it even better, um, hello, ASL, my name is Bob. Like that, boom, you see? And then we get it here, and then we're going to actually say here, socket, sent, um, hi. My name is Lucy, and I love to meet you. <laughs> like this, for example, boom. And then you see, they're chatting. You know what I mean? And you can open up uh, as much uh, tabs as you want, and everybody can chat, and yada, yada, yada. Simple chatting, Golang, WebSockets, easy peasy. Uh, of course, there are a lot of things you can do. You can subscribe to different topics, and, and there are a lot of things you can do, but this is the basics, um, and if you notice, you can, hey, the sky's the limit. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is make some kind of a feed because that's a very important aspect in WebSockets where uh, the browser can subscribe to, for example, a feed of orders, for example, an order book where you just subscribe to the order book and it will live in real time give you all the updates of the order book. So that's what we're gonna make. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, we're gonna say, where we're gonna place this thing. Let's do it here. We're gonna say func s server handle WS order book or something. It's gonna be, let me yoink everything inside this and paste, help me, and paste it in here. Uh, so we're gonna say, um, let's yoink this also. We're gonna say new incoming connection from client uh, to order book feed, something like that. Uh, we're gonna say here for, um, let's make a format, actually, yeah. We're gonna say FMT uh, payload or something. It's gonna be uh, S print F. We're gonna say order book data. And then we're gonna say percentage D and we're gonna do maybe a new line. Do we need that? Probably we do. Is it? Not quite sure, we will see. Yeah, we need, we need. Yes, let's do a new line, I'm thinking. Uh, so we're gonna say time, we're gonna make something up, right? This is basically garbage. We're gonna say time, now. So we have some, some different thing, Unix. No, no, is that a thing? Yes, because if we if we keep sending the same message, we do, we will see this, this incrementation in the dev tools, right? So one, two, three, we don't need that. We just wanna have new messages all the time. So then we're gonna just say uh, WS write and we're gonna write um, some bytes, and then we're gonna say, what's going on here with these big fonts? Payload, right? And then we're gonna say time to make it not overload. We're gonna say time sleep, time seconds. Let's do two seconds or something, right? <clears throat> so what is this? What's going on? So this handle WS order book is basically a, a WebSocket subscription feed where people can subscribe to, and everybody that's subscribing will receive um, these order book data from us. In this case, it's just a simple payload uh, we, we basically did ourselves, but it could be something from your database and, and all that, that stuff. You know what I mean? This is just uh, some example. So how we're gonna do this is very simple. We're gonna make, uh, we're gonna say HTTP handle, uh, and then you can give this whatever you want. You could say order book uh, feed or something, right? And then we're gonna say uh, web socket handler server uh, handle WS order book. <coughs> and we're done, right? Then we're gonna reboot this thing. Go run main.go, just like that. And then I'm gonna open up this boy here, or girl. How can I clear this here? So I'm gonna connect real uh, fast. So we're gonna connect here. No, we're not, we are wrong, we are wrong. We are gonna connect to the order book feed, right? Like this, but then we need to, on message, boom, you see? And now we are getting actually um, live data from our order book. And the cool stuff is that uh, we can we can actually make, do it the same, same way here, right? You could say, connect to the order book feed. Yes, and then uh, do this thing again on message, right? And we are receiving here, and we are also receiving here, and we are receiving here. So everybody that's connected 
can receive uh, the, the live feed of the order book. Yeah, that's what it is. That's basically uh, WebSockets in a nutshell uh, in Golang. I think if you understand how it works, how you can set up things, how you can structure things, uh, like I showed you, you can basically um, make anything you want in this. If you like the video I am providing to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave some questions in the comment. Very important is that you also jump into my Discord community where I'm turning developers into high value software engineers. And for the people that are really uh, want to level up uh, even more exclusive, I have content on my Patreon page. Check that out. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'm looking forward to see you in one of my live streams or future videos. Cheers.